How many of you have seen one of those t-shirts that say, my parents went to place X and all they brought me back was this t-shirt? Now I'm just going to assume that most of you are nodding your heads in agreement that you know what I'm talking about. Well, my parents went to Y2K in New York City and all they brought me back was this dingy teddy bear. The year was 1999. As I watched my grandparents' TV, trying to spot my parents' faces in a crowd of a million people in Times Square, I wondered what my parents were going to bring me back. I bet it's going to be awesome since they survived Y2K, I thought. I was thoroughly disappointed when they landed at the airport and gave me this teddy bear. Meet Teddy. Over the last 15 years, Teddy and I have had a rocky relationship. But as I look back, I've realized that he's taught me a lot of life lessons. Today, we're going to snuggle up to a few of the ways that Teddy has been involved in my upbringing. First, we're going to look at how you should never judge a book by its cover or a parent's love by a failed gift. Then, we're going to look at how relationships take work almost daily. And finally, how with memories, nothing ever truly dies. Teddy has taught me that you should never judge a book by its cover or a parent's love by a failed gift. I hated Teddy when I first received him and wondered why my parents didn't love me. They could pick any gift in New York City and they picked a stupid teddy bear. Well, as I got to know Teddy, I realized that he was a friend I was going to have for the rest of my life. When I got grounded for the first time for giving my blinds a haircut, Teddy was there. When I didn't want to take a nap because I was all alone in a dark room, Teddy was there. When I moved to Florida, a thousand miles from my friends and family, Teddy was there. Although I judged Teddy at first, the more I got to know him, the more I realized that we were going to be lifelong pals. Just like teaching me that you should never judge something based off a of first appearance, Teddy has also taught me that relationships take work. Now as silly as it seems, some of the ways that I take care of Teddy are, I make sure that he doesn't fall underneath the bed and get eaten by dust mites, I comb back the hair around his eyes so that he can see what's going on, and every day before I leave for work, I make the bed and place him gently on the pillows. Caring for Teddy has taught me how to care for others. My 11-year-old sister lives a thousand miles away, and with my busy schedule, it would be very easy not to text her or call her every day, but I've made an intentional effort because I want her to know that I'm there for her. In order to maintain the close relationship and be the best big sister possible, I have to be intentional about maintaining that relationship, something that I learned from Teddy. Teddy has also taught me how to cherish memories. Teddy was purchased from F.A.O. Schwartz in 1999. A few years later, F.A.O. Schwartz was purchased by Toys R Us, and most recently, Toys R Us claimed bankruptcy and shut down all of their doors. These toy stores brought a lot of magic into children's lives, and because of our products like Teddy, we can all remember what those toy stores did for us in our childhood and even our adulthood. My grandfather committed suicide nearly 10 years ago. Being that I was so young, I have to be intentional about remembering him. One of the ways I do so is with the physical reminders that he left me before he died. For instance, this necklace that Teddy is wearing was given to me by my grandfather shortly before he passed. And it's a reminder for me to remember his generous and giving spirit. This dingy teddy bear has taught me a lot of life lessons, including that you should never judge a book by its cover or a parent's love by a failed gift, that relationships take daily work, even when it's a sibling, and that memories help something never truly die, just like my grandfather's memory living on, even when his physical body left us years ago. So the next time that one of your friends complains about a souvenir that their parents brought them, Remind them that this souvenir may end up being life-changing, even if it's just a dingy teddy bear.